Hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the most is 8 Second Gaming, and in today's video we're going to be talking all about Bind because there is a lot of stuff coming into the game. Honestly, the stuff that's coming in might completely change the way that this map is played. But if you guys are really looking to take your Valorant skill to the next level, then you need to check out the Game League website right now. Over there we have top level coaches creating the best, most highly informative videos possible. No matter if you want to get better decision making, aim, or just positioning, we have a solution for you. So click the link in the description, pick yourself up a membership, and start to improve today. But okay, Bind, what's going on? What are all these changes? Well, first off, for all you Bind lovers out there, I'm sure there's a few of you, it is going to be returning on April 25th when the patch 6.08 comes out. It is still a little bit of a ways away, but you know, at least you have something to look forward to through April. But it coming back is not the only thing that's happening because Riot is actually doing a bunch of changes to the map as well. They're doing a bunch of things with the teleporters, like for example, this one outside of A Bath Entrance. They have added a brand new teleporter spot and they have sealed up the old one. Now the interior of Bath looks pretty much the same way that it did before, so the inside of this will probably play the same, but now with the new teleporter location, there's going to be different angles to hold, different spots you're going to be have to paying attention to, but that's not the only change, there is a massive, massive, massive update to A site. See this little wall right here? Bam! They've added a barrel. That barrel is going to completely change the flow of everything and I cannot wait to use that in my games. Mark my words, that barrel is going to win championships. But in all honesty, a -Site did get some changes. As you can see here, the crates are no longer stacked on two, they've just taken it and moved it to the side, so now it is one high, and it's going to add a few more sight lines, a few more peak spots. So a site did actually get some changes, I wasn't just messing around with you guys. Now with these changes to the crates, it does look like they've added a few more spots that you are able to plant the bomb, so this is going to give attackers a little bit more options and freedom with where they're putting it, so maybe they can play around with a few spots and have a little bit more of an advantage, but also the defenders have a lot more sight lines looking in now, so maybe it's going to be harder to push, who knows? What do you guys think about the A-Site changes? Let me know. But don't worry, they've added some stuff into B-Site as well. You see this picture here on this wall? Bam! Vent! Among Us! Sweet Riot! This is exactly what we were asking for. I don't want to play this game anymore. I want to live out the glory days playing Among Us with the boys, and now I can while being angry at my teammates for throwing my games. Perfect balance, all in one. Thank you, Riot. From what we can tell from the leaks that are available, B-Site did not get nearly as much love as A did, and it doesn't really seem like they've messed around with the teleporters there either. So if you were a B-Site defender, or if you liked B-Site, it's pretty much going to play the same from what I can tell. Now, from these leaks, we did get a little bit of community insight because people were very vocal about their opinions. Some people were saying that Bind was fine, they didn't need to touch it. Some people said that they really liked the changes, and some people said that the changes are wild because teleporting is actually going to be pretty scary now. One tweet that did catch my attention was somebody talking about how they took a defender-sided map and made it even more defender-sided. So will these changes actually favor the defenders when we do see them in-game? Or will the map changes completely rotate Bind and make it more attacker-sided now? Let me know your opinions in the comments. And obviously, the burning question that we do want answered is what map is going to be taken out? There is no definitive answer as to what is being removed as of the time of me writing this script. However, some people, again, are being very vocal about what they want removed. Like removing Fracture and Pearl and bringing back Bind and Breeze. And just in case you guys were worried that they weren't there, don't worry, I'm here to calm you guys down a little bit. Of course, the obligatory remove icebox tweets are there. No need to panic. Now, it is always interesting to see which maps Riot is going to be removing, but somebody did tweet out asking if they were going to be removing something or just adding this back into the playlist. So maybe Riot will actually just add this one in and not remove anything. If we don't hear anything relatively soon about what map is being removed, it might be possible that they aren't removing anything and they're just putting Bind back in. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I think more maps is better. If they don't remove a map that you don't like, you're less likely to get it if there's just more maps in rotation. Or maybe you just get super unlucky and you get it every single game, but that would kind of be funny. But if you guys had a choice to remove a specific map from the game to add Bind back in, what would you choose? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys are looking to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Valorant tips, tricks, and news, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. Thank you guys all for watching. Once again, I made 10 Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.